smelled so many fragrances in NYC. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel everyone, the Santa Maria here and today I'm going to take this dedicated video to talk about the fragrance shopping, rather smelling, that I did while on my trip to New York City. If you haven't already catched my previous video to this where I did my New York City trip story time, feel free to check it out your own leisure, I have it linked up top. But yes, more important because I know my elves come here to hear about fragrance and in this case we're talking about perfumes you all. New York did not have a shortage of fragrances at all and we're going to get into it today. I have 10 that really come to mind that I have thoughts on and I wanted to share because I know you all like to hear my first impressions and thoughts on fragrances whether they are new, hyped, or old we talk about it here on the channel. But before we get into the tea, elves, you know what we must do first. Lipstick of the day, everyone, is actually a combination. One is old, one is new. The old one is MAC Viva Glam 1. This is, of course, part of their fundraiser line, the Viva Glam 1 lipstick. Kind of matches my nails. I'm here for it. Of course, all proceeds go to their fundraiser with MAC. So, yeah, we always like to rep Viva Glam 1. Next, to go along with it, I do have the gloss that I mentioned in my favorites. This is from Juvia's Place, and this is the gloss Cultured that I have over it. A very deep ox blood type of red. Again, matches the nails very fall. It'll be in the description box for y'all to check out. And of course, it's not a fragrance video without a fragrance of the day. Fragrance of the day, I'm still in my NYC state of mind. Bond number nine's Greenwich Village, the one that started it all for me with Bond, yes. I have a full dedicated review on this fragrance up on the channel as well, linked up top. You can definitely check that out if you wanna know more about this scent and why I love it so much. So without further ado, let's talk about these fragrances I smelled. And oh, by the way, at the end, I'm gonna share with you all what I bought. <laughs> the first fragrance I wanna talk about I smelled this one actually when I went over to the flagship Macy's, the one over in Herald Square, the iconic Macy's. Finally got to go and check that out. That was a cool experience. And the scent I wanted to smell because it's new is from Jimmy Choo and it's these Jimmy Choo I Want You Forever, that fragrance. The bottle is cute. It has a kind of a frosted fading into a black thing. But the reason I cared to try it out was because it had a almond or a cherry note, I'm not mistaken. I think it was cherry. Cherry's all the rage these days. But you all, I smelled this one. <sighs> it's very artificial. It smell very artificial, smell very synthetic, smell very fake. And I'm sorry, I can't do it when I literally have Kaoli's Love Fest as well as Tom Ford's Lost Cherry in my collection. No, the Jimmy Choo I Want You Forever does not hold a candle. It's not in the same league at all. It can't sit with those other ones, no. <laughs> the second fragrance I'm gonna talk about is from the brand Narciso Rodriguez. And it was the Musk Noir fragrance. Cause I've seen the bottles, I've seen it. I've seen people hype this one. You all, I smelled it. No, it was a no for me. <laughs> and people really hype this brand up, but I'm just, I, what I smelled, I was like, this, this is not it. No, so Narcisa Rodriguez, I'm gonna need to smell something else because yeah, that Musk Noir was not it. I didn't like this. But I was grateful for the opportunity, of course, to smell the fragrances. <laughs> now, let's skip over to when I went to Sex. <laughs> And sex, you all, I had system overload inside of sex because when I said it had everything, they had everything. And I know for sure I forgot to smell some things because it was just so much. And after a while, your nose just gets overwhelmed. And by the time you realize, oh, wait, they have this counter. Oh, wait, they have this counter. They have that one too. My, I was just done. So, it who. <laughs> but most importantly, while the first counter that I did see, but it makes sense because it's New York City and it's a New York brand. The first counter I did run into was of course Bond number no. nine. And you all know we love Bond number no. nine here on the channel. And the first scent I made a beeline to is their newest fragrance and that is the brand new Chelsea Nights that is out. The bottle is super cute. It's blue, but it has like hot pink on it. It has Chelsea Nights written all over it. Super pretty. So of course, the sales rep was very nice. I smelled it. Y'all, let me tell you, it's good. It's really good. It's really good. It's really good. It's like crap. This is another one I like. 
<laughs> I really need to find more that I don't like. Ugh. So yes, you all, let me tell you what stood out about the Bon Number 9 Chelsea Nights is that there's a saffron note that is super prominent as soon as you smell it and there's a cacao note, there's like some hazelnut in there. You all, this is like a sexy gourmand and it doesn't smell like anything else in my collection or that I have smelled. I know there's a ton of other notes. Of course, you all can go to Bon on their website to see for yourself, but I'm just telling you what my nose, what I smelled, saffron and this chocolatey hazelnut vibe that was going on. It works. It really, really works. And I walked around and smelled a little bit and the chocolate, the chocolatey notes became more prominent. And I was like, oh, this is nice. But I didn't stop there. I did smell some other bonds. And the next bond that I smelled was, this one was really good. And I had seen it, it's an older one. It's been out for a minute. But I was like, this is good. And I smelled Bond Number no. 9's B9. Apparently B9 is a part of their Dubai collection, as I'm told, from what I research you all. This one smelled really, really good. This has some saffron and it has some oud in it as well. That's what I picked up on nose-wise. Of course, there's probably a million other notes in it. We're not getting into that. We're just going off again what I smelled. Y'all, B9 is everything. And don't be surprised if you see B9 in my collection very, very soon because out of Everything that I smelled, and there's one other fragrance I'm gonna talk about as well from Bond that I smelled, B9 is the one I'm like, no, I need you next because it's given fall, winter, I'm going out, I'm smelling sexy. You're gonna be asking who is she, who is her. B9 is, yes, it's the scent that, that gave me everything I needed. So this the one, I'm like, yes. So that's Bond Number no. 9's B9. Then the next fragrance, and I have been interested in this one too, because I've seen a lot of ladies hype this one up. It's been around for a minute as well. And I smell Central Park West. And the bottle is cute with the houndstooth, you know, design on there. And I like her. She would be good for spring. So she's one of those type of fragrances that just smell very fresh, very bright, but it still has some body to it. I was like, oh, I like you. I don't need you right now because it was giving me springtime. But yeah, 2023, don't be shocked if you see Central Park West in the collection as well. So those were the bonds that I smelled. Now, I strolled on further down Fifth Avenue, you all, because at this point we're just out frolicking in the city and went to Louis Vuitton. And I smelled two fragrances while I was in Louis Vuitton while I hit F was looking at some sneakers or something. <laughs> the first one, I've smelled this one before, but I wanted to revisit it again in a different season. And I smelled the hyped and infamous Attract Brev that I've seen so much. You all, I really like this scent. And what's dangerous is that <laughs> I can get this scent with just a 15 minute drive. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it, but it's very, very pretty. A trap rev, you all, it has like a peony note. It's very like floral, but it has some body to it. Got some girth to it. She's cute, but she grown. I like a trap rev. I understand why she's high. I just don't want to spend Louis Vuitton money right now, but she might get added to the Christmas list. <laughs> But yeah, Louis Vuitton Attrap Rev, Attrap Rev is worth the hype. It's very pretty. It makes the list for sure. Okay, another one from Louis Vuitton I smelled. This is this is called Core Batant. This one was like very pleasant. It was kind of powdery to me. It's nice, but I didn't feel like I needed it in my collection. But you know, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't like, oh, I need to like get this now. It, it didn't give me the same vibes that Attrap Rev gave me, but she was cute. And then we left and went to some other store. <laughs> Now we're gonna circle back to sex because you know, I had to break this up and organize my thoughts. And I was taking notes as I was smelling things so I could bring you all this video. So yes, that's why it's like all mixed in from store to store, I'm hopping. That's what's going on here. <laughs> So you all, I did spend a little bit of time at the Killian Encounter. <laughs> we love Killian here on the channel as well. So I did smell the newer scent. This is Killian Kiss from a Rose. And you all, I cannot believe that I'm gonna say this, but I did not like this. It wasn't good. Mm -mm. I was really shocked because normally Killian's DNA works on my body, but I was like, no, I don't like this. Again, glad I smelled it, but the bottle's pretty. It's part of the red bottles that they have, similar to Rolling in Love. But no, Kiss from Rose, it didn't work for me. I was like, oh, I know, I don't like this. Then I smelled another one scent. This one tends to be sold out a lot on Killian's website, and this was hyped a lot of, and during the summertime, in my opinion. And this was the Killian Forbidden Game scent. This one is very hard to get. I've noticed it, it would be sold out again on his website and even with your discounters, this would be sold out. So I'm like, okay, the girls are on to Forbidden Games. And what it is, it has a peach note. 
And to me, when I smelled it, I got peach and cinnamon. So kind of just peach and spice vibe. It's interesting, it's kind of weird a little bit. So I was like, mm. It's one of those that I would really have to try on my skin before I made a decision on because I'm like peach and cinnamon. I'm not quite sure how I all the way feel about this. But yeah, I it didn't smell like his other the other scents of Killian. So I was like, okay. Hmm. We'll see. I tried on the skin. Then the last scent that I smelled in this series of like frolicking around and smelling everything, I went over to Nishane, you all. And I have been seeing this scent from one of my good sis here on YouTube. So my good sis here, Fabulous Fashionista. Girl, I had to look up your name because I saw you had changed it. But yes, Fabulous Fashionista was talking about this scent. And this is Nishane's Nanshi or Nanshi, so however you choose to pronounce it. So I wanted to smell it and I had heard that it was a powdery type of scent, kind of different. So I smelled it. The opening was an interesting rose, but then you all, it dries down to this very pretty powder goodness <laughs> and I was like oh Nishane does it again you all in my opinion Nishane does not miss and I'm like oh man she she might get added to the list so again thanks to my good sis fabulous fashionista for putting me on to that one so I knew to get my nose on it while I was on this trip but yes Nanshi I am digging my Nishane list continues to grow because I have like three other scents on my Nishane list that I want but yes Nanshi is a yes for sure and now for what you all care about for the grand finale the areas I spent the most amount of time with on this trip <laughs> I spent the majority of my time over at Wilhelm Parfumery, you all, and that's going to get its own dedicated video because we have a lot to talk about with that brand. It's my first time talking about it here on the channel, but Wilhelm Parfumery is based in New York. So again, total New York vibes. I had to get into it and they had all of the goodies. I know I was over there for like at least 30 minutes and I ended up finding one that I really liked and the scent that I chose you all was, I ended up going with Morning Chess, you all, Morning Chess, which this one is interesting because I, from what I see, a lot of men like this scent and it does lean it's a unisex scent, it does lean masculine, but it's very like a fresh, leathery pineapple that makes it kind of scent. And normally I hate scents that are like a pineapple scent. At least it pulls pineapple to my nose. I think it's really a bergamot, but again, we'll get into the notes and all that in a dedicated review. But I smelled all of the other scents. They, they were cute, but for something about this one held my attention. So I picked up, of course, y'all know my favorite size of 50 mil. That's what I do. So I had to get one. And then by the way, it was fun fact. Another reason this scent really stood out to me is that growing up, I was a competitive chess player for years. Chess was a very big part of my childhood. I played, yes, I had trophies, you name it, I did all that. So chess, yeah. Mm -hmm. The fact that something has that in here, I was like, ooh, I'm intrigued. <laughs> I need to find my chess board. <laughs> But yes, Morning Chess was my pick that I ended up purchasing. I'm so excited. And you all, they gave me a ton of samples, which we're gonna talk about in a later video when I go more in depth with Wilhelm Parfumery. So stay tuned to the channel. And then the second space that I spent a lot of time with you all, because it's hard to get to experience one of these spaces. And this is, you all, they had Guerlain. They had Guerlain at Saks. And if you know, Guerlain is hard to experience. You might smell like a one-off bottle of say like a Mont Guerlain by itself, but to experience the true, their Privé line, I can't pronounce their actual, like what they call their upscale line. I can't pronounce it, so I'm not even gonna try. But to have, they had their makeup, all their skincare, but to get to experience the full, I mean, the full expansion that is Guerlain, I, I couldn't resist. And you all, I have been hearing a whole lot about Two Cents, and I kept hearing a whole lot about Angelique Noir, and I heard a whole lot about, of course, Spiritus Double Vene. But let me tell y'all straight out the gate, the scent that stood out to me, I had to have it, love it first sniff. You all, I had to have Angelique Noir, so your girl got a bottle. And I'm very happy because the sales associate was super sweet. She was like, uh, yeah, we have it in a 50 mil. Y'all know, I'm a 50 mil girl, so I was like, up oh, is destined it's meant to be and then too she also offered i picked out my own type of special lid so i went with the burgundy top and i went with the burgundy um cords around and also engraved my name in the bottle so yes santa is in the back so yes i had my bottle personalized so that's another perk of getting the girl on full experience and i also have some samples as well which we'll be talking about more separate video but yes you all just know 
spoiler alert, I bought a bottle of it. Angelique Noir is worth the hype. And I'm very pleased to have this. This is a elegant, sexy vanilla. And that's all I'm gonna say for today. <laughs> oh, and bonus elves, <laughs> because the head elf is so adorable. He wanted his purchase to be included too, because what was also cool about Saks was they had a whole Hermes. Yes, they had a whole Hermes cologne fragrance counter. And head elf got stuck over there and he fell in love and he ended up getting a fragrance itself. We're turning him into a fragrance head, guys. So he went with their new H24. He got the Eau de Parfum, you all. And this is what the bottle looks like for some of my guy elves or some of my ladies that might be shopping for guys in their life. You all, let me tell you, this smells amazing. This is so good. Head off has been bathing in this and he normally does not bathe in cologne. He loves this scent and I love it on him. But yes, H24 by Hermes, the Eau de Parfum version. Yes, head off approved. Get your guys and others on it. It's fantastic, you all, because I definitely love it on him. So, all right, elves, that wraps up this video of talking about the fragrances I smelled in NYC. And of course, you saw at the end what we actually purchased. So, let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know what fragrances from Guerlain you all like. Which ones from Wilhelm Parfumery are you all intrigued by? Again, this was a first purchase, first time purchase from the brand. And we're going to talk more about you because, yeah, you got a whole collection we gotta talk about but as always ills if you dig me subscribe to the channel if you're here for the content hit that thumbs up button and if you're not here for any of this that's okay i understand <laughs> but i'll catch y'all in the next video bye ills <laughs>